Hey future loots, my name is Cassie Paulson and I am a student employee times two. Number one is as the theater office manager. I work about five hours a week in the theater office doing a variety of things, primarily running all of the theater department's social media. And then my other job is my job in admission. Working for the university, I think I get a unique experience in that my bosses all know that being a student is my first priority, so they're really flexible about my hours, when my hours happen, and if I ask for more or less hours, they're usually very accommodating to my needs. You are currently spending some time with me at the South Front Desk. This is one of the on-campus jobs that I hold. So what do I do for this job in particular? I encourage community involvement, um, I help build community around this residence hall, and I also help with other tasks such as, you know, cleaning the lobby or sorting mail in a timely manner for residents. I work about 10 to 15 hours a week, and I work around my class schedule primarily by having a detailed schedule so that I can provide maximum effort for my job and also in the classroom. I'm going to be talking about my job as a global studies student worker. Basically what I do is I work one-on-one -on -one with the chair of the department. We come up with socials, we come up with calendars, we make sure that students know which courses are being offered semester to semester, and I get to do most of my work remotely, which makes it really easy to balance uh, my other jobs and my school load. Um, and it's also been a really fantastic way for me to get to know faculty members and other majors and minors in the department. Hi, my name's Hannah and I'm the general manager of Media Lab a student-led communication organization at PLU. I provide videography, photography, graphic design, and all kinds of communication services to companies in the Tacoma community. I found this job through talking to people in the communication department and also through PLU's website. I work 10 hours a week and I balance my time by putting everything in my Google Calendar or my planner and making sure to block out time where I can get my homework done aside from other commitments. I'm a Biology 225 TA as well as a Biology 225 prep worker and as a prep worker I prepare materials and solutions necessary to complete a Biology 225 lab. So I work really closely with my boss who's the Biology lab manager as well as the professors I TA for and they're kind enough to take projects off my plate if I've told them that I'd like to focus more on my academics, whereas other weeks I'd really like hours and so they might give me extra projects or extra assignments to grade. My on-campus job is that I am a physics tutor, one of the two physics tutors we have on campus. I work about five hours a week so it's not ridiculous or anything, it's not a huge workload. There are jobs that have more hours if that's something you're interested in and that's been really nice and it's helped me supplement my income a little bit when I'm at school. I actually have two jobs on campus. Um, I uh, one of my jobs is with 208 Garfield as a barista and server. I actually work about seven hours at 208 Garfield and then I work about seven hours at my other job so I don't go overtime. Make sure you don't overload yourself because you have to remember that you're not only balancing school and work, but you would also be balancing extracurriculars and also hanging out with your friends. So you want to make sure that you don't load up your plate too much. Um, because then you won't be able to enjoy your college experience. If you're looking for on-campus employment, I recommend looking up alumni and student connections and making a counseling appointment. It's so helpful to get advice on your resume and your interview skills, and they can also help you find opportunities for work on campus. So I found the job at the beginning of my second year at PLU. Um, I was just scrolling through the uh, Student and Alumni Connections Opportunities Board, which is this super handy website. I was looking specifically for an on-campus job. I really wanted to beef up my resume with some clerk and receptionist type work. So I went ahead, filled out my current resume and got some help with that from um, student and alumni connections themselves. And then I submitted a cover letter and got a letter of recommendation. And then I was fortunate enough to be called back for an interview. And I got hired just uh, actually the same day as the interview. Build those relationships with your professors. It's so easy to do because they're so warm and they're so kind and office hours are a great time to do that. And then once you have that relationship, you can reach out to them and ask them if there's any positions on campus that they think you'd be a good fit for. And if not, you can ask them how you can improve your skill set so that you can get that job in the future. For students interested in working on campus, my main piece of advice is just to keep your eyes and ears open. There are so many opportunities in so many different little niches around campus, so there's always different opportunities for students, and you never know what's going to come out of the woodwork for you. Mm -hmm.